What's up everybody and welcome back to another edition of Firewood for Life and I'm extremely excited today because I'm doing two things that I absolutely love. One, I'm bringing you guys some more content, some more videos to view and two, I'm building a firewood tool and something that I love to build is a saw buck. So come on, I'll show you how. All right everybody, welcome back. And like I said, today we're gonna to build a saw buck. And for those of you who don't know, a saw buck is basically just a saw horse that uh, holds firewood so you can cut it up. But it makes it really safe, it makes it really easy. First, uh, it prevents you from bending over all the time. It makes it really easy on the lower back. And second of all, it prevents those logs, especially the smaller ones, from rolling around when you, uh, when you go to cut them up with the chainsaw. So treetops, things like that, work great in here. Um, I also use it for pulp wood. When I order firewood by the semi-load, um, they'll come in eight, 10 foot long pieces. And uh, you can take two, three, four of these, um, stack them up in here, and you can make you know multiple cuts with just a single cut of the saw. So it works really great for that. And like I said, it, it, is, it is a lot safer. Uh, these are the original saw buck plans that I put online uh, probably 12 years ago uh, when I first created Firewood for Life. Um, there has been a ton of people who have built the same design and I've heard nothing but positive feedback. So I really think you're gonna like it. Another cool feature of this saw buck is that it folds. So storage, not a problem. And when you unfold it, it's really sturdy. I mean, you are not, you're not gonna break this thing. So um, stick around, it's a really easy build. I'll take you over to the saw and let's get started. All right, we're over here at the build site and I just wanna run through some of the tools and supplies that you're gonna to need to complete the project. If you have access to a miter saw, which you can see behind me here, um, if you've watched the other videos, I love to use a miter saw whenever possible. It just makes the project a lot faster and easier. And we are gonna to have to make some 30 degree angle cuts on a few of the boards. So the miter saw just makes that process um, a lot quicker. So um, also three and a half inch exterior screws. I love the T25 star drive heads to these screws um, compared to a Phillips head that strip out all the time. These T25 star bits uh, make the job a lot easier. So pick yourself up some of those. You're gonna need a 5 8 inch drill bit to drill through the lumber. Three hex bolts. These are 5 8 inch hex bolts. They're five inches long. If you have access to a local farm and garden store, like these came from Tractor Supply, you can buy them in bulk. So you only need to buy what you want or what you have to use for the project. So that cuts down on cost. We need six 5 8 inch washers and finally six 5 8 inch nuts and again all of those can be purchased in bulk from your local farm and garden store all right let's set this up we'll start cutting the lumber and i'll show you guys how to build this all right so i have everything set up uh, the first step is to take the five eight foot long two by fours and you're just going to cut them in half so we're going to make ten uh, four foot long pieces Okay, so that was easy. Now that you have your 10 pieces that are four feet long, six of those pieces are going to need a 30 degree angle cut on the end of it. Um, if you have access to a stop block, it would make the process a little bit easier, but because we don't have one here today, we're just gonna simply set the compound saw at 30 degrees and make sure you just take off the end. Don't take off any length. So you're just putting a 30 degree angle right on the end of this, this piece of wood. So now we have six pieces cut with the 30 degree angle and then we still have our four other pieces that are just four feet long with no angles cut. Next step we're going to drill some holes. Okay now that we have the six boards cut with the 30 degree angle on the end we're going to drill some holes in them. 
So what you want to do, I have these set up on a sawhorse just to make it easier uh, for the video. If you have access to a drill press, it's actually a lot easier to do because it drills a nice straight hole. Um, we're going to drill these by hand, but when you drill them, especially by hand, just make sure you get it nice and straight. If not, it's going to want to bind up a little bit. But basically this is your, down here is your 30 degree angle mark. Measuring from the 90 degree, the flat side up here, measure down 18 inches on the board. And then find the center of your piece of wood. Uh, since these are two by fours, so the actual width is only three and a half inches, an inch and three quarters is gonna give you right in the middle. And just make a mark. And then I have pre-marked the rest of the boards. And using your 5 8 inch drill bit, just drill the holes. Uh, set the clutch. And you'll want to drill all six boards. All right, now that we have the six boards drilled, uh, let's put them together. I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, so I have this zoomed in a little bit so you guys can see. The next step is to install the bolts through the wood um, to start making the X pattern for the saw buck. So as you can see right now, all of the angles are all facing the same way, the 30 degree angles and all the flat sides are up here on top. What we wanna do is make an X. And if you can see the angles here, we don't want them the same way when we assemble them. Flip them like that. So you have one angle like that and then one angle like this. So basically when you open up the X, this is flat because of the two angles are opposite directions of each other. Um, installing it's really easy. Just take one of your bolts, put a washer on it. Put it through one side. It's a little bit tight. Uh, you can grab a hammer if you want. Hammer it through. Again, with your angles facing opposite directions of each other. Install it through the other side. And then once you have it through, take another washer. And then thread on your first 5 8 nut. And then take one more. What this does is it creates a more of a lock nut fashion to where these nuts won't back off as you open and close them. Um, take a crescent wrench, tighten them up a little bit. You can adjust these later if you need, but if you have two crescent wrenches and then you work and then tighten the two nuts against each other, so in two opposite motions, and what that does is it creates a pivot point. Get this closer for you guys to see. Just like that. So we're making a pivoting X. And just to give you a closer look of how we have it assembled, there's your bolt and your washer on one side. If you got a washer on the other side, followed with the two nuts, back those against each other, creates a locking mechanism, and it still allows it to freely open and close. If you tighten it up too much, like I said, it's gonna be hard for it to open, but you can always adjust it once the saw buck is complete. So that's one set. We're gonna make three total. So you're gonna do this process two more times and uh, I'll get this done real quick and then I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, now that you have your three X's made, notice how each of the angles are all facing the same way. Um, we actually have the heads of the bolts along with the nuts all facing the same way. Um, that'll come in handy when you go to cut the wood to where you don't have to worry about your saw blade hitting uh, the extended uh, bolt 
behind here. So the next step to do is from the 90 degree flat top of your X, take a tape measure, go down 19 and a quarter inches, and that'll be just below the bolt. Make a straight line across, I've already done this. Um, do that for all three pieces, 19 and a quarter inches down, and then take one of your four remaining four foot long flat cut 90 degree angles on each end, two by fours, and line it up so that the top of that two by four is resting right along those lines that you just made. I went ahead and put a mark at uh, 24 inches, which is the midway point of this four foot long two by four to line up this center X so that it's, it's nice and even. And then once you have it lined up, take one of your screws. Now here's the important part. So there's two bolt or two boards here. We're gonna screw in, the first time we're gonna screw into this board, this board, and then this board over here. All right, so it makes a difference so that the X can open up properly. So screw into the inside board. We're gonna put two screws in each one. Again, screwing into this inside board. And then we're just gonna do the same thing all the way down. Just line up this middle one on that line so that everything is square. Again, screwing in to this inside board right here. And then finally, your last one, just line it up along that line as well. And then screwing to that same board. It really doesn't matter which board you start drilling or screwing into, just as long as you keep it to the same side, whether it be, you know, whichever way you're looking at, the left or the right, just keep doing the left, keep doing the left, or keep doing the right all the way across. Okay, that's it for this step. We're almost done. You guys are doing awesome. Let's uh, flip this over and finish it up. Okay, as promised, we're almost done. Um, once you have this board screwed into it, you can actually open up the saw buck and it'll stand on its own. Just kind of visually square all these X's up um, because there's obviously nothing on this side, so these will move a little bit until we put this other piece of wood on. But it just makes it a little bit easier because you don't have to measure. Um, I already pre-started this just to make it a little bit faster. But just line up this board right here and then just push it all the way up to the, to the cross pieces so that they're flush on each end. And then remember, before we screwed into this piece, this piece, and this piece, so now we're gonna screw into all the pieces on the right side. So basically, just the complete opposite of what you did before. Again, put two screws in each piece. All right, so the final step is we're gonna put one more piece of the uh, four foot long two by four under each of these two sides, and that's just gonna give it some extra strength. Um, it's real quick to do, so let's hurry up and do that, and then I'm gonna finish this up. Okay, so I have the second piece here, and again, you're just gonna place it right underneath the first piece that you screwed on, and then just attach it right below. Again, drilling it into uh, the same board on each one, exactly like you did before. This is just going to give it some extra strength. All right, we're almost done. We're gonna turn this around and do one more on the other side, and then you're done. All right. You guys are done. Hey, I hope you like your saw buck. It's an awesome piece of equipment. Um, as you can see, it folds nice and easy. It's super strong and it's gonna last you a long time. So thanks for following along. 
Hey, you know what? If you guys like this stuff, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget, stay warm, and we'll see you next time.